Double fertilization is a difficult topic to understand? No, not at all. Through this animation, it would be easy for you to understand this topic. Let us try to understand what is fertilization. The process of fertilization starts when pollination brings male gamete and female gamete together and their nucleus get fused to form a structure which is called as zygote. This zygote divides to form tissue and organs and organism. No question arises, do plants have male and female gamete? So answer is yes, where? Yes, they are present in the flower. The male gametes are contained inside the pollen grains. Remember children, pollen grain itself is not a male gamete. The pollen grains are produced inside the anther of male part. Let us see where the female gamete are present. The female gametes are found in the ambroy sac which is surrounded by a ovule. There are three antipodal cells. In the center, there is large central cell containing two nuclei. Three cells at micropyle end. In the center, egg cell surrounded by two synergid. So total cell which are present in the embryo sex are seven cell with eight nuclei. The mature pollen grains get released from the anther of the male part. There are many pollen grains in the air. So often we are compelled to think that what would happen if the pollen grain of other species land on the stigma. Dear students, nature is complete in itself and well planned. Stigma recognizes that the pollen grain is of other species. It doesn't allow to enter and that pollen grain is disintegrated. Now, what would happen in case the stigma receive the pollen grain of the same species? But before that, let us see inside the microscopic structure of pollen grain. It has a generative nucleus and a tube nucleus. Stigma starts secreting sugar and then the pollen grain absorbs sugar and water from stigma and bulges out to produce a tube known as pollen tube. It controls the growth of pollen tube as it grows down the style and then penetrate to the ovary. Now the tube nucleus which had directed the growth of pollen tube all the way down get disintegrated. Generative nucleus got the way to reach the embryo sac. The tip of the pollen tube after entering the micropyle, it rupture and discharge two nuclei by generative nucleus. These are called as sperm nuclear. So before we just go through the fertilization, let us understand the internal structure of female part of flower. This arrow shows ovary. This highlighted part is a vule and inside a vule this is embryo sac. Antipodal cells have not function in fertilization so do not focus on it. Synergid function is to guide the entry of pollen tube. Now inside the no, inside the female, there are 
three nuclei and in the main there are two nuclei so how to solve this problem these polar nuclei unite together to form a secondary nucleus and then one of the sperm nucleus will unite with the secondary nucleus this is described as triple fusion because three nuclei are fused here two polar nuclei and one sperm nucleus one sperm nucleus will enter to the egg cell through help of synergids synergid function is to guide the entry of pollen tube the two nuclei from male sex cells are fused with two female nuclei so it is called as double fertilization now let us start answering the question which are often asked by the board 